right, so we're back in the garage. I'm gonna do a install next to our wonderful 997.2 giveaway car. Try to keep it from getting too dusty. Um, but yeah, this thing's amazing. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is reinstall um, our vacuum solution on the wall. Now that we're um, officially launched them, we had the canister below before. I had a blue reel because that's what we had in stock at the time. So now we're gonna do everything black and white. So um, got a better muffler, the round muffler now instead of the square box muffler. I'm gonna now install the canister above the reel. The reel will go in the same location. It was right about here, but the canister above. And a couple different um, things I'm gonna do is gonna be to paint the conduit black. Matt wants everything black and white. So I'm gonna paint the conduit black. I'm gonna swap out the single duplex for a uh, rocker with uh, single duplex so that way you can turn the vacuum on and off here with the switch So we'll just leave the vacuum on the, the switch on the vacuum on all the time and then you can just turn it on and off here um, What else am I changing? Oh, I'm probably going to exit the exhaust outside So I'm going to come out of the vacuum punch hole through the wall through the siding outside and that way all the exhaust will end up outside It'll probably make it a little bit quieter, but it's pretty darn quiet the way it comes. With that muff on it, it's very quiet. So anyway, we gotta make Home Depot run. I've gotta get a black receptacle and a black rocker um, and some actually some flat black paint, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to it. Real custom, Mike. This is the best of the best, Mike. This is how we do it. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep up with your, your quality filming, you know. Big video guy. You see, if anybody hasn't already seen the, the the video you just did on this is pretty epic, Mike. It's uh, yeah, pretty amazing. It's the new rig. Picked this thing up here in Florida. Originally from Washington State, people moved here. It's pretty minty. It's um, it's, it's actually an older one. Uh, it's still fifth gen, but it's a 2012. Um, I did, it was, didn't look this good in the, on the lot. I, I stole this thing. Right, Mike? This is a... I, 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 I exercised some Wabanomics yep. and got it for a pretty darn good deal. So I reconditioned it, spent the last week, you know, paint correction, new wheels, tires, um, interior, I, I steam clean all, you know, use an extractor and a steamer, clean the interior. It's like pretty darn new now. Took care of the engine, you know, spark plugs, all this, all the maintenance stuff, Mike. The stuff we mics do, we take care of business, Mike. Anyway, it's pretty good. So this is going to my daughter. My youngest just moved to Illinois. She, has, she needs four wheel drive because it's icy and snowy and cold there and yeah, so. What do you think about that, Mike? It even tells you what you're driving, just in case you forgot you're in a four runner. Look at our, my, my mileage, man. Just from driving around town, going for, that's not bad, 18.8. .8. Highway I got from driving from Venice. Oh, we can't do that. That's copyright, a Mike. copyright there, Mike. Um, yeah, I got 20.8. 20, Backup camera in the mirror here, Mike. Yeah, this is a good experience. It's a nice vehicle, Mike. And the AOC blows nicely, nice and cold, Mike. We didn't talk about my nose. People are gonna be wondering. Okay, I dove in the pool and jacked my nose up. It hit the bottom of my pool. I was already in the pool. I just, I just. You've been known to get into a few altercations here. Yeah. Sure yeah. No, it was not that kind of altercation this time. I battled a pool <laughs> floor. <laughs> yeah, it was not a, it's not Florida man fight or anything like that. So we're at depot. Grab a few things. Home away from home. Actually, I haven't been here as much lately. I've been doing bigger trips just you know not bigger trips buying more while i'm here i've been stocking up so i don't have to come as often which is nice i think we'll grab a basket just so we have one mike do you want to sit in one of these i can get you up here and then you can film from here be smoother. smoother yeah so we need a black rocker switch 15 amp there we go and then we need an outlet i like the don't like the child safety ones well, we can throw a 20 in there heavy duty Good to have. It's a 20. It's a 20 amp dedicated circuit. Anyway, that's it. So we got that, and now we need a. We have a cover plate already. We just need some. We need some. Um, oh no! Actually, I need a cover plate. We need a cover plate, and then I need to get some flat black 
spray paint. Like, what's the damage? Please remove your card. Uh, 2858. Of course, you know, you have to factor in my discount. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. Pretty good at those discounts. Well, let's see what I, where are we at this year. $33,432 for a total discount of six thousand three forty five ninety five that's pretty significant. significant i'm gonna splurge my i'm gonna get some some of those um egg bites yeah the bacon grill egg bites it's kind of sort of carnivore so i already have my og coffee which is far superior it really is a lot better than starbucks but i didn't bring any lunch today and it's lunchtime so here we go bacon grill egg bites are pretty good but you got to use the sriracha Give a little extra kick. Mm -hmm. But I did get some ice water. They do have triple filtered ice water here. It, it is probably superior to our uh, Lady Lake water that comes out of the tap. We gotta go. Lunch is over. All right. So first step, I'm going to I'm gonna get this conduit painted black. I'm gonna pull the electrical uh, pull the, the cover off the four square box and just uh, nut up the wires so they're not exposed. Get this thing painted flat black. I'll get some mask and some paper next door and and get this sprayed and then I'll put the box together and then that's done. And then I'll go ahead and mount the reel next. But I'll get, I'll get going on this and then we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Yeah, I'm using rust -Oleum. It's flat black. I don't think it says flat on here, but it's, it is flat. Yeah. So I got, I've got the little cover plate out there and some screws that I'm painting outside. So. Let that, this is pretty much dry. I'm gonna get the electrical put, put back together. I have the rocker switch in, and the switched outlet that'll be next to it. And I found, actually Matt was right, we had some uh, Lutron black covers, so I'll use this. I'll take this cheapy back to Home Depot, and we'll use ours. So I didn't realize he had bought some black ones. So anyway, I'll use that, get these put in next, and then I can start hanging that. I'll hang the reel next after that. So here's our rocker switch. This will be control this outlet. So now the outlet will be a, a switched hot, much like you would switch for a lamp in a room or something like that. So I've already painted the trim ring. So what we'll do is we'll leave the vacuum switch to the on position, plug the vacuum into here, and this will now control vacuum on off. That smells pretty good, Chris. What you got there? Oh, wow, that's a... That's some down home uh, Florida cooking. This is to dry the paint, not for me to yeah. stay cool, Chris. Come on. <laughs> I would never, I would never use creature comforts, Mike. We're supposed to suffer and tough it out. Now, because this is an exposed metal box, four square, it's not going to fit flush like it would on a wall, but it'll look nice enough. Well, here's where the, oh, it's gloss. There we go. And there's our switch. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And put my screws back in. I even painted the screws, Mike. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we can't have silver screws on black condo. You know, I coated these with CSL. Okay, so, so. you could it didn't do any drying it yet. When we wash, then I'll dry and eat. Maybe some tire dressing on the yeah, plastics. Yeah. There we go. So we're at that point where we're gonna, I'm gonna mount the reel. Um, I've got the conduit all painted. It looks pretty darn good, actually, black. I actually ended up having to paint the wall, too, because we're gonna end up painting the whole place, but um, I had it paint, repainted up to about where that camera is. I ended up painting all the rest of it. So it looks nice and fresh. Um, anyway, so what I'm doing now is laying out. I like to use tape rather than mark the wall up. That way I don't have to touch anything up. I can just pre-drill and it'll go right where it needs to go. So I got, got this is the bottom bolt holes right here and here. So the, the separation or the, the center to center is three inches. So I'll put another piece of tape three inches up, lay that out. And I like using my level for make a plumb line off of this mark. So I'll do that right now. Let's see, right there. Three inch mark right here. Use the level. So I want to plumb. Okay. 
Okay. So there's our bolt pattern. So I've got the anchors that I used last time, so I'll use those. So let me get a drill bit and we'll pre-drill for that. Okay. Those are actually three-eighths leg bolts, not half inch. So what I'd like to do is pre-run these in so they go in easily. Check it with a level before I get too crazy. That's it right there. Okay, so reel's done. Now I'm gonna hang the vacuum. So we're gonna mount it center line to the reel. Um, and center line, I'm, I'm using this as a reference. So center line of reel is a 28 off of that post. So I'll come up, measure my 28. And we want a few inches above the uh, reel to the bottom of the canister. So the way this works is it comes with a mounting bracket like this. So this goes in here like that, hangs from there. So what you do is you figure out, there's our height, right? So from bottom of canister to first hole, we're 10 inches. Well, 10 and, 10 and a quarter and 17. So if I want to give myself a couple inches, we need to go above that. So let's say the bottom of the bottom holes will be at 12. That'll give us two inches above the reel to the bottom of the canister. So I'll get my tape like I do. Mark this out, level. So we know two inches is going to be right about there. A level line on there. So this will be our bottom of the canister. We need to come up. This will be our reference line. So there's level. So now we got to come up 10 inches and make our marks for this bracket. Matt's talking investments, mm -hmm. strategies, speakers, tools. I'm just you know, you, 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 you know, Mike, I learn about investments and such by proxy, by listening proxy. to Matt, you know, just over here, just absorbing mm -hmm. all the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So remember, I, I went from this, I went two inches up to that line. So that gives us the bottom of the canister here. And then the, the bracket to bottom of canister was 10 inches. So this is already two inches off the top of the reel. And then the bottom, of, bottom holes in my bracket are 10 inches, which is where I marked that. And we'll draw ourselves a level line here. Okay, so those are bottom holes. So now we just need to measure 28 inches over from here, and that's our center line. So 28 right there, that's center reel. So there we are right there. So that's that. We're going into, uh, I think it's three quarter inch ply, but if you were using, if you're going into studs or something, you could use two, two and a half inch screws. These, there's no reason to go longer here because we're just into plywood. So it's half inch of drywall, three quarters of inch of, uh, of uh, plywood. So that'd be an inch and a quarter. So these are plenty long enough. Good. What do you think? Using any of these new tools, you use old tools. Well, I'm using all the Milwaukee stuff, so I did. I did use a sonic screwdriver, not a new one. I didn't want to get it drywall you're dusty. Gonna get some uh, snap on. Yeah, I got all the snap on stuff. Yeah, for you. it's you not. Know. It's not very good. It's. Yeah, I'm gonna it. sell all my snap on stuff on OG Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except for the wrenches and the sockets. Mm -hmm. Screwdrivers are trash. Mm -hmm. I never really liked them anyway. I just like full complete sets. Like, well. You don't know until you know. That's the problem. You know? Spot our holes here. Alright. Oh. So careful too. Yeah, well, 
you know, you know where that's for where I put my pen mark pushed against the because I put the tape on there very softly, but that's all right. We got touch up paint. Right? Simply hangs off here. There we go. Nice and tight. That's that. Nice and compact. It's two inches above. <sighs> Plenty of room because our hose doesn't fit outside the, the reel. And then our cord. So I'm going to custom length our cord again like we did last time. Since we moved it, our old cord won't work, but I'll reuse the plug. The other thing I did, which is to further customize. So the way this, if you look back here, see the direction that is, that plug is on there? I flipped it. So it comes the opposite way, so the cord would actually go this way, but we don't want the cord coming up and then down again. So I took this out, took these screws out, took the bottom off of the, of the uh, vacuum, and then there's, it's through screw with nuts on the back side. But in order to flip it, I had to use a file, and file slightly file the canister because it's kind of, it's in, it indexes into this punched hole. So I use a little file, square it up the hole a little bit, and flip this. That way the plug goes downward direction towards our receptacle like that. So then what we'll do is we'll just come over and plug right into there. So, and then I think I've mentioned before, these right now, these are Levitons. This actually can index into this at 90 degree increments. So we can actually make the plug, make this go this way, but flip so that flip this into the body of the plug 180 degrees so it'll sit like this that would look nice and clean so let me do that no phillips eh. oh here's one i got lucky yeah all right so anyway so i'll show you how this this works so we take this as a strain relief portion so you pull that loose these handles do fit nice in your hand so let me get the wires Disconnected. Oh man, that's all right. Five second rule. Couldn't drop any lettuce, you drop the ham. You're eating lettuce? Ooh. Wow, big moves. <laughs> I can't believe it. All right, so as I mentioned, these right angle plugs, and then typically that would be, if you had your machine down here, you would run it have it indexed that way, but since we're gonna put it above, I'm gonna index the plug that way. That way it goes like that and still plugs into the receptacle normally. Salad is the dumbest invention ever. What is? Salad. Oh, salad. Terrible. <laughs> it's not really an invention. <laughs> so we'll be, cut it right there. Okay, so our plug is in, it's clocked the way I'd like it, so it points upward, the cord points upward. So let me get this back here installed, and then boom, done. Now I'll go turn the breaker on, and we'll uh, give it a test. There we go. So, I like that. So now, now what we have to work on is our our plumbing, which should be fairly easy, and then our exhaust, which we're gonna come out here, come down and probably down low and go out here. I, I, gotta, I don't really have any way of finding out what's behind here. I don't know. So I think there's a sub panel out here, so I think I'm safer to go down lower. Just to be on, I don't wanna have to patch walls. All right, since we're hard plumbing, which is a custom installation, we'll have, we're gonna have kits available if you wanna hard plumb. The way it's gonna come is gonna be coming with a jumper hose like this with plastic fittings on either end that basically plugs into the reel and plugs into the, uh, to the vacuum. So we'll be sending you these, um, but since we're doing a hard plumb version, in order to get a pipe, the pipe to fit tightly, you have to, I have to trim back this tapered inlet so I'm going to cut that back now so that because otherwise it fits a little loose. This is actually meant for like a cuff or something. So I have to cut it back about about a half an inch and that'll make it nice and tight. So I'm going to do that now. Like I said, this the way the, the solution will come, it'll come with a flex hose like this and it'll give, I think Tommy made these three feet. So you've got three feet to play with, which this is plenty long enough. 
in this configuration. You can also put the vacuum to the side, which then there's an, another inlet over here. If you put it to this side, you'd use that one. If you put it to this side, you'd use this one. So anyway, this hose will be long enough for most applications. We're doing the hard plumb because we want a more custom look. And I think that in my, my preferences would be a hard plummet. It's a little more work, but it's, it's really not that hard. So you can buy a few 90s, if you, depending on how you, how you uh, plummet. And you see that we did the one in the Helen house where the canister's off to the side. So we ended up using this uh, inlet here because we mounted the canister over here and I kind of have like an offset with a couple of 45s, two couplings and a, some pipe. So it's, it's not difficult at all to hard plummet. I think it looks cleaner. And, and this application, since we're doing everything kind of black and white, um, we could leave the, the plumbing white, but we're going to paint it black to match the conduit. It comes with a yard gnome. It does. Yard gnome. We could offer that. You should make, we should make a yard gnome in your likeness. There's nothing more in this world I hate more. Than yard gnomes? Yeah. Plumbing. Let me get a saw to cut that off. Yep, that's it right there. Quarter inch it is. All right, what you do is get another 90. Actually, I can use this. I think this is about the same. Then we can get a measurement off this. The bases are our length here. So this is my old one from down low. So now I can just measure what we need from, from 90 to 90. So we need that piece to be 24 inches. Okay. So there. And we paint it black, you just see the switch. Yep, all right, so. I'm gonna glue them. I'm gonna glue them. Yeah, I use clear PVC glue on these, and then we're gonna paint everything black. When we're done. It looks to be maybe a little long, actually. See, we're I'm a little long. We don't want to make any crooked cell. I need to cut about a quarter off. Oh, I see why. See, my cut's crooked. That's why. That Horrible contractor, huh? it. Simple as that. So what I think I'll do now is I'll glue this, get it glued, get it painted so it can sit outside and dry while I'm mocking up the exhaust. All right, so rather than risk dripping some glue on the Swiss tracks, the glue out here I have to spray paint it anyway. So clear PVC glue. Hang on to it for a sec because they want to, sometimes they want to squirt off. There we go. I always do the fitting first. And we want these pointing the same direction, which is right there. This stuff dries pretty fast, especially out in the Florida sun. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and we'll start mocking up our uh, our exhaust. Okay, so we've got the intake or the suction side, I should say, already plumbed up and it's I'm painting it so it's outside drying. So in the meantime, I've been trying to tackle the exhaust. So what we have is a muffler and we want to put the muffler outside. Well, so we want to plumb this outside either way, whether we use the muffler inside or outside. Um, but the dilemma we have is on the back side of this wall, 
and this happens to be in about the location of our uh, of our vacuum outlet that we want to exhaust out so what I'm trying to do is figure out where I can go through the wall without hitting anything and ideally it'd be like right here next to this and then 90 down put the muffler so it shoots downward so I'm um, measuring over that where there's about corner building we're about 69 inches so if we come inside so that puts us over here so what we really need to do is extend this out and 90 out right about there I can 45 get into this like this and then go like that and then 90 out and that'll eliminate having to use a coupling it'll get us close to the wall so it's not sticking out and that'll get us our length we need so I think that's what I'm going to do okay so I've got this mocked up this the panel ends right about here so I've got this mocked up with some 45s and 90 so what I'm going to do is lay this out fingers crossed that when I poke through there there is nothing um, structural back there so I can poke right through the drywall through the uh, plywood that's behind it and out through the sheet metal so I mean if not I'm gonna have to patch it I have no idea what's behind here so I'm gonna take it easy go through and see what's there worst case scenario if I hit something I'll have to modify move this around patch the wall but without having x-ray vision I don't know so, so I did here is I had this all mocked up I just went outside and glued it so I knew where all my fittings were indexed what I do is I mark them this way and where I want to stop same thing all the way along so when I glue it together it goes back exactly like I had it mocked up so if you put this in here and you hold it against there I put a dot 90 degrees apart wherever where the pipe laid out so the ID to this stuff is two inches so I've got a two inch hole saw so that puts this right where I am so now I take it out a hammer drill now we just keep our fingers crossed that I'm just going through drywall and plywood and that's it and then we can get outside and look at that straight through the sheet metal we're good nice, nice. you can't see in there can you Mike mm -hmm. so now this should fit snugly through this hole. Look at that. Wow. And there we are. There. Put a dent right there. So I, I should be adding in a don't try this at home. You know, only qualified contractors should contractors. be attempting any type of work. Yeah, technicians. <laughs> Vacuum installer technicians. <laughs> Everybody's a technician now. Exactly. Custodial technicians. Camera technicians. Camera tech. go inside maybe you can push on that for me Mike while I move the insulation okay come slowly there we go that's it now we should turn on see how quiet it is inside I mean we're gonna paint it still but I have to take it back apart and paint it yeah, that's pretty quiet. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. So now what I'll do is take this off and paint it. And we'll put it back together. So next we're going to load the hose. We got the plumbing is all outside drying. We painted that flat black. So while that's drying, we'll get the hose loaded. Put the handle on the reel. We can do that right now. So handle comes like this pretty self-explanatory ends up being a half inch out here on the flat and it's a 13 millimeter nut using the snap-on snap-on ratchet wrench yeah they're pretty nice there we go and then this is your drag here, so it kind of 
There we go. So now we'll get the reel loaded. Got to get a nut for a driver for this and a screwdriver. So this is the cuff for inside the reel. So we do. This goes in here. Yes. That goes there. And then comes with a clamp. And the hole is right here. Okay. All right, so we got the hose loaded, so we'll get our cuff back on. And we'll go check our paint, see if it's dry enough to mount our hard plumbing. So that, then we have to hit the, uh, the drag so it doesn't unreal on its own. And let's go see how the paint's looking. This is the one we painted first. Yeah, I think it's good enough. Looks pretty good. Nice and compact. I gotta be very careful. It's still a little bit soft. Okay, Michael, if you go push on that pipe outside. Okay. I think we'll run another piece of pipe down maybe. And then 90 out that way. That's pretty quiet. Yeah. The thing is, this needs to go. You got me. <laughs> there we go. That's it. It's done, Mike. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. So there's a custom solution. That didn't take very long. I mean, we're filming and everything else and painting and, you know, cutting holes in walls. And I think I'm in it maybe five hours total with our Home Depot run included and all that. So, you know, take your time. You can do this in a day if you, uh, if you really want to. So this would be our, you know, we're, like I said, we're gonna offer a custom solution with, uh, with hard piping package so you can do this yourself. Otherwise, like I said before, it's going to come with a flex, so you wouldn't, you would just come out of this with flex right to that. That would simplify everything, make it quick. You could still do your exhaust, your muffler. You just put a 90 on it, straight down with the exhaust on it, or straight up with your muffler on it, and you'd be, you know, hour and a half install. You know, it takes a little longer, obviously, doing everything custom, so. But I like this look. I think this is, uh, you know, just depends what you're after. If you're after function over form, and you just use flex hose and be done and quick and it'll still work really well. If you really want it to look nice and perform well both, then you do it this way. Mm -hmm. and we'll, have kits for we'll have kits for both, absolutely. And, and as I mentioned before, we have, you can install it three different ways. You can put it canister over top, canister underneath, canister next to it on the left. Um, I prefer it like this. I think it, it takes less room. And if you, you know, you could do your pressure washer solution next to it and you wouldn't eat up that much wall space. But, um, yeah. What do you think, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to advertise for Obsessed Garage. Yeah, I think it looks good. And now we have the switch. Yeah, it's good. And so what we did is we chose to do the through flow motor mm -hmm. because of how quiet it is. Yeah, it's really quiet. I mean, this is literally, if you didn't have the suction, like this makes more noise than anything. Yeah, absolutely. So, it's, I mean, the through flow motor drops, it makes it like a hundred times quieter. Yeah, and I bet you taking just this adapter off make it even quieter. Because mm -hmm. that changes the orifice yeah, size. Yeah, right. Makes it louder. Suck a little bit more. Yeah. 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 And this is, I think, uh, like 1300 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. No, it's and, just... And, you know, install depending on, I mean, a lot of dudes are going to do the tin cell themselves. Yep. We yeah. had done it, tried one where we put this below, but then all the static electricity on the hose mm -hmm. would grab little bits from the floor. And put it all over the top of the vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. This, this looks yeah. Now. now when you walk in... Yeah, it's nice and tidy. 
Kluge's spec. Yeah. So putting the muffler outside gains you like 2%. Yeah. But I wanted to gain the 2%. Hey, you don't want to look at it either. It looks tidier like this. If you had a block wall in your garage, I wouldn't waste it. You wouldn't time. waste it. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's not even that noisy without the muffler. Well, there's all kinds of things we could do in the future, but yep. we're off to a pretty darn good start. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I like this. Now that everybody sees you, like, oh, that was easy. Yeah, mm -hmm, sure. Yeah, it only took me freaking five years to get to this point. And yeah. So many different people and companies send me a bunch of wonky crap that mm -hmm. I just, in fact, one guy sent everything back to him. <laughs> He's like, oh, my, we got this. And I'm like, this is not, not what we're looking for. Yeah. But this, this is the ticket. The yeah, only thing that makes this better is if you do hide a hose. Yeah. But I wanted to do the on wall solution. In many ways, the, the hose reel is easier to manage than dealing with the, uh, in wall solution well certainly with install oh yeah yeah, yeah. especially you know block wall or like we have uh plywood behind here mm -hmm. there's plywood up eight feet and so yeah hide a hose in here would be impossible you have to you got, do on wall, you know? well yeah you'd have to do a surface mounted version yes yeah that's yep. sweet maybe i will leave the sticker on it it does look good i mean it's all black and white goes with the theme if i you know if i'm you somebody i'd probably pull the, we don't we send it without the sticker on it yeah so you have but, a choice yeah that's nice no one does that except for us right yeah i mean who i've never gotten anything from anybody with the sticker next to it i think this is vinyl too so i think it would pull right off yeah yeah, yeah this isn't a paper sticker i mean it's kind of why we went black with everything so it matched our look sticker now we need to talk Krenzel into doing a blackout package for That would be sick. Yeah. Yeah. If but the then we need to find a black hose, too, because well, the black hose isn't as pretty. No. It's the same, yeah, same jacket, different color. Yeah. This is good. It was worth it pulling a... This is already on the wall. I mean, like, Let's take it all off and start over. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm glad we did. And we yeah. patched the hole that it was there. It took a day, like a day, and it maybe a full day's worth of work to do it. <laughs> yeah, not even. We were, we're five hours in, and that's with filming. Yeah. You know? I mean, we had to make a Home Depot run for those black stuff, the black parts. But, yeah. Love it. It's yeah. available in the store. Pre-order um, pre starts next week for the public. I don't know when we'll get this video up. So right now, it's, it's inside live the, for Inside the Hex. Yep. If you're a Hex, Inside the Hex member, the reason why it matters is we're probably going to be sold out. Of the, like, we'll probably just take orders. Mm -hmm. And as they come in, as the waves of stuff come in, because we have to aggregate a lot of parts and pieces, as it comes in, we ship out. So um, getting your place locked in line matters for this kind of thing. Certainly. Something else like I'm telling you, all canister vacuums look the same. They don't sound the same. But they're not the same. And they Suction, don't suck the same. The flow, yeah. It's not all about air watts and specs. I'm telling you, I've tried. This is like the hundredth one that I've gotten and punted. And the ones you've seen, you see all the, the ones that are highly marketed are the worst. Yeah. You know, um, you want you, this this one, like modern day, you, you wouldn't know squat about them. If yep. Nick Jones didn't turn me on to it, I'd never even know. Yeah. Uh, and then this is this isn't even a catalog item for modern day. No, this is a custom made hybrid version. version. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Buy it. It's freaking sweet.